Good afternoon. My name is Ulf Ehlers and I'm happy to present to you the progress of the work package 9 dealing with assessment methodologies and experimentation planning. During my presentation I will cover the following points. I would like to give some general information on the work package, the objectives of the work package, the role it has in the project and the relation with it, wh which it has within the Aristotle landscape. I will describe the work which has been performed so far, the main achievement, status with respect to our final results, and relation with other work packages, and give some outlook on future work. Generally speaking, the work package 9 is located within the action line 3, requirements elicitation, experimentation planning, and implementation of the evaluation. The deliverables are two. D91, evaluation methodologies and pilot trials definition in a preliminary version and then in a um, modified version and delivered month 12. And D92, the evaluation methodologies and pilot trials definition um, experimentation planning, uh, which is uh, delivered uh, for the first cycle evaluations uh, at, the, at the time is the month 22. The objective of the work package are to define methodologies and evaluation criteria to assess the outcomes of the project. So it's quite important because um, if an assessment is done in a sound way, then also the improvement cycles can result into an improved tool and platform of Aristotle, which is more usable by the potential users. And secondly, to define pilot trials to evaluate Aristotle and tools and platform in enterprise contexts. Start date, month 4, end date, month 22. The role of Work Package 9 within uh, the Aristotle project landscape and specifically within the Action 9.3 is that it is providing the basis for Work Package 10 to implement the tools and platform validation activities. It is a planning work packages in which we conducted a study to evaluate concepts and theories which can be used for the evaluation of Aristotle, criteria which can be used to check the quality of the different components and evaluation methodologies and pilot experimentation planning, which can be used to test the Aristotle platform in real life. There are multiple um, relations um, to other Aristotle activities. The evaluation methods are, as you can see, um, defined in an operational evaluation framework. They evaluate models coming from WP3 methodologies, work package 4, 5, 6 and 7, and Aristotle tools and platform developed in work package 12. So there are multiple relations really and an effective communication is very, very necessary. The Action Line 3 partners guarantee that through regular phone meetings or web meetings and also in partners' presential meetings. The evaluation methods will be implemented using performance indicators, KPIs, Key Performance Indicators, which are identified by Work Package 10. The main achievements of the Work Package is the development and the revision and publication of the Aristotle Operational Evaluation Framework, D91. In general, our evaluation framework follows the question, how well do the tools, the basic models and the overall Aristotle platform support working and learning in the domain of an organization? We have defined within our two-cycle approach of evaluation, four levels of evaluation. On the le first level, we are focusing by using the method of a group discussion on a conceptual validation of the methodologies and the tools provided. 
This will be done in a webinar taking place in the end of September 2011. On the second level, we will perform and we have planned to perform a usability study on the tools which have been developed for the Aristotle platform. And on the third level, we have conceptualized to perform a standardized online survey for learners, trainers and HR managers starting from January 2012. The second cycle evaluation will then follow later starting in April 2013. This will be an evaluation of the overall Aristotle integrated platform. We plan to carry out half-structured interviews with workers and learners, trainers and HR managers, with the governance group which is actually um, concerned about collaboration, learning, knowledge management, HR management and enterprises in a 360 degree manner. The basic assumptions we have formulated for our approach are that we would like to target not only the users but that we would target experts, which are researchers, domain experts, project participants, external experts like information scientists, knowledge management experts, educational experts for the conceptual validation and that we would like to work with representatives of the two other groups management uh, representatives like HR managers and project managers and of course the users, the learners, which are the workers, the employees and the learners um, in the companies. For the different levels we are focusing on different evaluation groups, target groups. We further on are working on the basis of two reference theories, that is one is the knowledge worker formulated by Drucker who is very much focusing on the collaboration processes between members of an organization and who is focusing on the empowerment of individual members of the organization through structures and through tools, which we formulated in our evaluation approach is a good basis for evaluation of an approach like Aristotle. Further on, we are focusing as another reference model on the model of open innovation, bringing into organizational systems new impulses and stimuli from outside, as Cheeseboro formulated it in 2003. The Aristotle evaluation plan foresees the four levels, and for each level, the concept validation, the usability study, the tool acceptance and the platform usage, a defined method focuses on a defined target group has in the deliverable 9.1 presented um, a structured instrument and has a defined time frame. As you can see we are working with a multitude of evaluation methodologies. We suggest a multitude of evaluation methodologies coming from diff different disciplines also being in parts quantitative and in parts qualitative. The concept validation which is starting now end of September as a group experts discussion inviting 10 project experts, five from Aristotle and five external project experts to discuss the validity of the models which were developed in Aristotle and the methodologies which were developed in Aristotle, which you can see here. The partners from the work package 3 and the partners from work package 4, 5, 6 and 7 are working closely together here with the partners from work package 10 which are, which are implementing this conceptual validation to provide short versions of the knowledge model, the competence model, the worker model and the personal worker model so that within a webinar the experts can discuss and take stock of the developments and the suggested implementation uh, Aristotle is putting forth. 
The methodology is a focus group discussion with combined with a SWOT analysis to find out the expert's view on strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats of the methodologies and the models used. The evaluation of this model will focus on three selected aspects which are important from the perspective of a learning organization using Aristotle's software environments. Competence model, knowledge creation model, and innovation model. The second level, the usability study, is focusing on five tools. Knowledge management tool, collaborative networks tool, human resource management tool, learning experience generation tool, and personal work and learning environment tool with its uh, A21 capabilities. We're going to perform in Work Package 10 a usability study um, with about 10 tool experts following the methodology of a cognitive walkthrough and an attached applied usability questionnaire. Level 3, the pilot trials, will focus to evaluate all five tools separately not in an integrated Aristotle platform, but separately, to test the functionalities of the tools for support of working and learning activities by the participants. The first version of the tools will not include the full implementation of their capabilities, and so the evaluation plan is tuned with respect to the expected available cap capabilities when they are ready. This will happen in months 17 and 18. Again, Learners, trainers, human resource managers and uh, managers are in the focus of um, the evaluation. It's an acceptance evaluation through a quantitative um, standardized survey. The fourth, the pilot trials evaluation in months 33 and 34 is conceptualized to focus on four cross-cutting issues, not any longer on the tool level, but on cross-cutting issues, on learning, on managing human resources, on collaborating and on the innovation process. We would like to interview workers, learners, trainers, HR managers with a half-structured interview guide to find out how useful the Aristotle integrated platform in its pilot trial scenarios is to foster learning, formal and informal learning, to empower the learner to follow his and her own learning path, to manage human resources and competencies, to collaborate and share knowledge and to innovate. From the state-of-the-art analysis, which has been performed in a systematic analysis of concepts, platforms and existing tools, we have developed key performance indi indicators in Work Package 10 and the key performance indicators will also be integrated into the evaluation framework which then will be implemented by Work Package 10. Work Package 9 has taken on board research done on unified theory of acceptance of use of technology formulating the target groups, experts, managers, learners for different evaluation levels. And also from that side has a reference theory on a more methodological side. The evaluation methods defined in an operational evaluation framework evaluates models, methodologies and Aristotle tools and platform in an comprehensive manner. As example, on the first evaluation stage, the project intern and project external experts will discuss, assess both methodologies and models, focusing on the conceptual level of the project work. 
In an outlook, we would conclude that our next steps are now the co-organization and moderation of a webinar on conceptual validation in September 2011 with Work Package 10, and then, in the second step, the evaluation methodologies and pilot trials definition, first cycle, the experimentation planning, four months, 22. Thank you very much. If there are any questions, let me know.